Instant Pot Pro Plus. Unboxing, full review, new features, demo cooking. Hey everyone, this is Tass and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share a detailed review of the latest Instant Pot. It's Instant Pot Pro Plus. Here's the box. First, let's do unboxing. On the top of the box, here is the Get Started Instant Pot Pro Plus manual in English. It also comes in French. Here is the Discover Amazing Pack. So this is the Instant Pot recipe booklet. This one has a bunch of delicious Instant Pot recipes. Next one is a sealing ring. So this is an extra sealing ring and it's red in color. I'm going to take the Instant Pot Pro Plus out of the box. Here it is guys, the latest Instant Pot Pro Plus. This is truly a beauty. So it has a black stainless steel exterior. It's very reflective and it looks like a mirror. Here is the lid. So this looks very similar to Instant Pot Pro model. So I do have a detailed review of Instant Pot Pro model. I'll post the link in the description below. Check that out. Here is a new part steam release cover. So it's over the steam release valve. So here is the steam release valve and here is the steam release pipe similar to instant pot pro this one also has the quick cool protective cover so we can take this off the lid like so so here is the protective cover the bottom of the lid looks same as the other instant pot model lids so here is the ceiling ring ceiling ring rack so here is the locking pin here's the anti-block shield and here is the silicon cap and the steam release pipe and here is the float valve taking the inner part out of the main part here's the trivet here's the inner part it has easy grab silicone handles and the exterior of the inner part is stainless steel with aluminum core so it helps in faster cooking and even cooking and also great for searing and it also has a flat bottom the inner pot can be placed over stuff top, electric, ceramic and induction stuff tops and it's also oven safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is a really cool feature. Here's the main pot or outer pot. So it has a black stainless steel exterior and behind the main pot, here is the condensation collector. So we can take this off and while cooking, this has to be always kept and the condensation collector will catch any excess liquid from the inner pot. Here is the lid holder. So while sauteing or after pressure cooking, we can place the lid like this. Inside the main pot, here is the heating element. So we should not add any liquid or any ingredients inside the main pot. So while cooking, all the ingredients have to be added to the inner pot. And the inner pot has to be placed inside the main pot like so. On the front side of the main pot, here is the touch screen control panel and here is the control dial. Before I get into the details of all the features in Instant Pot Pro Plus, let me tell you guys the exciting feature in this model. So Instant Pot Pro Plus can operate wirelessly through Instant Brands Connect app. That's right, this has gone wireless. Even the steam release can be done wirelessly. So this is super exciting. Another new feature on Instant Pot Pro Plus is on the lid, something is missing. Did you guys notice? So on the lid, there is no button for seal or vent. It's gone. So how we should do is we can do the steam release wirelessly through the app or we can do it on the control panel. So I'll show it to you guys in a bit. Here are some of the new features in Instant Pot Pro Plus. So there is a pressure indicator on control panel. 
There are three pressure modes, low, high and max. So the max pressure mode is not found in other instant pot models. And even for venting, there are three methods, natural release, quick release and pulse release. So the pulse release venting method is a new feature in instant pot pro plus the pulse venting method is timed burst of steam so this is great when we cook rice grains and pasta in the instant pot pro plus another new feature is nutri boost so we can turn this on mid cooking while pressure cooking or while cooking rice so it's basically pulse steam release setting right now nutri boost is activated So what it does is uh, the boiling motion effect uh, will break down the food and it will add nutrients, improve the texture of the food and also enhances the flavor of the food. Here are the smart programs in Instant Pot Pro Plus, Pressure Cook, Rice Canning, Saute, Slow Cook, Steam, Yogurt, Sous Vide. It also got Delay Start, Keep Warm, Cancel and Start. Here are the status icons. It shows if the sound is on or off and the temperature Fahrenheit. You can also change it to Celsius. If you do delay start, it shows the timer and here is the keep warm icon. On the control panel, there is also cooking progress bars with three modes, preheating, cooking and keep warm. A new smart program in this model is canning. So it's a pressure cooking function based on traditional canning principles. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to pair Instant Pot Pro Plus with the Instant Pot app. Go to the App Store and search for Instant Brands Connect. So that's the second one. So click on that and let's download the app. So it's Instant Brands Connect. So click on get so it's downloading right now let's open the app so we have to create an account so click on sign up click create account put your email address password and click create account so we have an account now and we have to enable notifications click continue and allow only then we'll get all the notifications next let's add our appliance so click on appliances click on add an appliance so our appliance is instant pod pro plus so click on that, confirm your instant pot is ready to connect, click on continue. So next click on scan for appliances. So it's connecting the appliance using Bluetooth. So right now it's scanning for appliances and it's connecting. So our instant pot pro plus is paired with the app. Instant Pot Pro Plus is now paired with the Instant Pot app and we can see Instant Pot Pro Plus within my appliances. So this is perfect and now we can control the cooking through the app. So this is super exciting guys. And let's first do the initial water test run and I'm going to do this through the app and I'm going to show it to you guys. So let's get started. Open the app and on the search bar, let's search for water test. So it's the first one that shows up. So here's the water test. Click on that. So it will give all the details and the steps. So total time is five minutes. You can scroll down and read through all the steps. So we have to add water to the inner pot. Add water to the inner pot. So close with the lid. After closing the pot with the lid, all we have to do is click start on the app. It's preheating right now. So we can see the progress on the cooking progress bar. So it's showing preheating and also the pressure is selected to high and uh, it's going to do a quick pressure release. So water test run, it's five minutes of high pressure cooking followed by quick pressure release. So I can hear a little sound of uh, pressure being built. I just got a notification on my phone saying preheating has completed. So now it has gone into cooking mode. So it's now pressure cooking. So that is cool. So we'll get all the notifications on the phone. After pressure cooking is done, I'm getting a little beep on my phone. So right now it's doing quick pressure release. 
This is awesome guys, I did not do anything, I just added water to the inner pot, closed with the lid and then turned on the water test on the app and everything was done automatically, even the quick pressure release. Cooking in the Instant Pot Pro Plus, there are three options. So number one is you can do it manually just like you do it in other Instant Pot models. So you can choose one of the 10 cooking programs and set the pressure, time, venting options, nutri boost uh, if you're cooking uh, soup or rice and set everything manually and click start. So use the touch screen control panel. Number two cooking option is control the cooking programs through the app. So all the 10 cooking programs you can control through the app. So let's say you want to pressure cook soup, add all the ingredients to the inner pot and go to the app and turn on the pressure cook setting. You can also change the pressure uh, time and also the venting options. So all the cooking programs have default pressure time venting options on the app. You can edit all those. So that's another really cool feature in Instant Pot Pro Plus. Number three cooking option is we can follow the guided recipes on the app. So there are over thousand delicious recipes on the app. So we can select based on cuisine, different ingredients. So it's such a cool feature and we have to just blindly follow the recipe. So it will give us the step-by-step -step preparation method. It even gives us notification on the phone. All we have to do is have all the ingredients ready before following the guided recipe. So the guided recipes, the app will start the instant pot and it will also control all the settings. So if it is just pressure cooking, all we have to do is add all the ingredients to the stainless steel pot and just walk away and the app will control everything. So this is an awesome feature and this is only in Instant Pot Pro Plus. Are you guys excited to cook in the Instant Pot Pro Plus? I am definitely excited. So I'm gonna make a soup in this. Uh, so it's going to be red lentil with tomatoes and potatoes. It's a healthy and hearty soup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do pressure cooking. So I'm going to control the pressure cooking through the app. So I'm gonna show it to you guys. So guys, let's get started. First we have to saute a few ingredients before pressure cooking so click on saute and the temperature I'm going to select high temperature so the default uh, saute time is set to 30 minutes I'm gonna keep that and click start so let the stainless steel pot turn hot so to the stainless steel pot I'm going to add one tablespoon oil adding one onion chopped two garlic cloves chopped. So let's saute the onions for two minutes till it turns slightly translucent. Adding two tomatoes chopped and one potato cubed really small. Mix it well and next adding one cup red lentil that's rinsed in water. Combine everything well. So next going to add three cups vegetable stock. You can also add a chicken stock. Adding a few spices, one teaspoon chili powder. Half teaspoon cumin powder, one teaspoon ground allspice. So we can literally add any kind of seasonings and spices. And finally, adding half teaspoon garam masala. Give everything a good mix. Cancel the saute setting and close the pot with the lid. For pressure cooking, I'm going to set everything through the app. So open the app and click on my appliances. So you will see all the cooking programs, click on pressure cook. So we can edit everything, time, pressure cooking mode, everything. So I've set the time to 10 minutes, high pressure, natural venting. I've turned on Nutri Boost and keep warm mode is also on and just click start. After clicking start on the app, you will see all the settings displayed on the control setting. So as you can see, it's natural venting, pressure mode is high, Nutri Boost is on. So right now it's preheating. After preheating, it has gone into cooking mode. So right now it's pressure cooking. I've turned on Nutri Boost. So here's how it works. While pressure cooking, it will release burst of steam. I'm pressure cooking for 10 minutes and the Nutri Boost is turned on. So it kept releasing burst of steam. So we can also turn this off. Just click on off. While pressure cooking, we can do this. 
After 10 minutes of pressure cooking, it's on to keep warm mode. So I have selected natural pressure release on the app. So it's doing natural pressure release. Natural steam release will take a few minutes. So I'm going to change it to quick steam release. So we can do that on the control panel and click start. So instant pot is right now doing quick steam release. model there's a steam release cover because of that the steam release is very gentle and it's not loud unlike other instant pot models so I really love this feature so the steam has completely released let's open the lid so here is the red lentil tomato and potato soup I'm gonna serve the soup in a bowl Here is the delicious red lentil tomato potato soup that's cooked in the Instant Pot Pro Plus. So guys, it was super cool to cook in this Instant Pot Pro Plus. So the pressure cooking was controlled by the app. I also love the Nutri Boost feature. So it's basically pulse steam release setting. So while pressure cooking soup, stews or rice, we can turn that on. And we can also turn it off um, if you don't want it. So it will keep uh, releasing the pressure uh, in regular intervals it can be a bit annoying uh, to be honest so if you don't want it you can always turn that off while pressure cooking next I'm going to show you guys how to follow a guided recipe from the app so basically the app is going to control the instant pot pro plus so I'm super excited to try that uh, so I'm gonna cook hard-boiled eggs nothing complicated just a simple recipe uh, just for demonstration purpose so I'm going to pick hard-boiled eggs and let's uh, have the app control the instant pot pro plus and let it do all the cooking so guys let's do it have your phones ready so we are going to control the cooking through the instant pot brands connect app open the app and on the search bar let's search for x and it will show up all the recipes that has x in it so i'm looking for hard boiled eggs so this kind of looks good perfectly cooked eggs so i'm going to select that total cooking time is 10 minutes and it's a very easy recipe we can also read all the ingredients and the preparation steps so we just have to follow the recipe so first uh, we have to add water to the inner pot and then place eggs on the rack and then we have to click on start so it will do pressure cooking so let's do that first i'm going to add water to the inner pot first we have to place the trivet in the inner pot and next i'm going to add one cup water Let's keep the eggs on the trivet. So I'm going to cook six eggs. Close the pot with the lid. So that's all we have to do. Next, let's click start on the app. So it's going to pressure cook at low pressure for three minutes and then it's going to do natural pressure release. While cooking, we have to keep the steam release cover and on the control panel, we can see all the settings selected by the app. So it's pressure cook, low pressure, venting is selected to natural, Nutri Boost is off. And right now it's preheating, we can see that on the status bar. When the pressure starts to build, we can hear a little sound. So it's very gentle pressure building sound. preheating is showing cooking right now so that means pressure cooking has started and the pressure indicator is also highlighted in red that means pressure cooking is in progress after three minutes of pressure cooking it's doing natural steam release that's why it's blinking so as per the guided recipe it's natural steam release so i'm not going to change this let it release naturally i have the ice water bath ready here and the pressure has completely released let's open the lid so here are the cooked eggs so i'm going to immediately plunge the cooked eggs in ice cold water so that will stop the cooking process even on the app there is a step for let cool for a minute so i have started the timer for a minute after a minute the phone will beep that means cooking is done it's showing you're done enjoy 
here's a tip we can also extend the timer so if you click on the extend we can increase the timer to two minutes or three minutes or whatever you want and click on extend I've let the eggs cool down for a few minutes I'm going to peel off the skin and let's see how the hard-boiled eggs have turned out here are the hard-boiled eggs cooked in the instant pot pro plus look at this this is perfect I like to season my hard-boiled eggs with the ground black pepper and salt here are the perfectly cooked hard boiled eggs cooked in the instant pot pro plus so this is super cool guys this is what i call smart cooking or should i say smartest cooking in the instant pot pro plus on days if you don't know what to cook in the instant pot or if you cannot make up our mind guided recipes will definitely come in handy so all we have to do is have all the ingredients ready and the cooking will be controlled by the app and we can enjoy warm and delicious food that's cooked effortlessly in the instant pot pro plus in instant pot pro plus it only comes with the quick cool protective cover so it does not come with the quick cool tray so we need that tray only then the cover will work so that's for the fastest natural pressure release so the tray we have to freeze it and then place it over the metal part over here and then place the cover over it so I believe it will help in fastest natural pressure release for me that's not even an important part of instant pot so I wouldn't be buying the quick cool tray I can wait for a few minutes for the natural pressure release um, so they should have totally included that along with this instant pot so if you really if you really want it, you can buy that separately. The summary here are the new features in Instant Pot Pro Plus Inner Pot Stuff Top Oven Safe, Touch Screen Control Panel, Pressure Indicator, Three Pressure Modes, Three Venting Methods, Nutri Boost Canning Smart Program, Wi Fi Capability, Cooking from the Instant Pot App, 70% Faster Pressure Cooking. That was my detailed review of Instant Pot Pro Plus. So guys, let me know if you like this latest Instant Pot model and will you be buying this Instant Pot Pro Plus? So let me know in the comments below. I'll also share the links for buying Instant Pot from instanthome.com and also from Amazon in description below. So check that out. So that's a wrap guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe. I'll be back with more Instant Pot recipes and also reviews. Until then, happy cooking. Take care and bye.